How to make six figures a year online. My name is Dan Barak, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate, and over the last three years, I've built three successful six figure a year online businesses. All right, so I guess that gives me a little bit of authority on the topic matter. So what I want to do in this video is just share some tips with you that, that were crucial with my successes uh, online. All right, so tip number one is Think of building a business as working out. All right, so everyone goes to the gym, they see those guys that are just like freaking jacked up. They got the, the dudes that lift like weights that are just like this big. They got muscles that probably, arms that probably weigh more than your whole body. All right, in the business world, starting from scratch, you're going in as the skinny guy. I mean, that's just the reality of it. You're the puny guy walking in and you're standing next to this big, um, big giant here. So the thing that you're going to work out as a business owner, owner, it's not physical muscle, it's like your creative, uh, your creative muscle. So just like going to the gym, your first month or two, you're not gonna have any clue what you're doing. But the whole point of going to the gym is at least you're moving in the direction of you know the big guy with the big muscles. Sitting at home watching TV, that's a completely the wrong direction. Getting into the gym and just doing some basic stuff is gonna help you build muscles. All right, so how this relates to you in online business or making six figures a year online, the reality is, is that your first month or two are just going to be experiments. You're probably not going to make much money from that first month or two of activity that you put in. But what you're gaining during this process is you're exercising the creative muscle. It really is a muscle, it's a skill that's developed. And over those month or two, that is your main goal, starting to work out that your brain to create on its own without people telling you what to do, without any kind of um, you know input about what you should do, your brain will start to figure out what it needs to do uh, to create value in the world. All right, so that's tip number one. Just start doing stuff. It doesn't matter if it's the wrong stuff, just get your brain churning. Tip number two, oh man, a bit tired today. Tip number two is the number one skill that I've used in every single one of my successful online businesses is the ability to communicate through writing all right so writing is very very important as a business owner this is how you get people to take action all right so there's two books that i recommend are the ultimate sales letter by dan kennedy and advertising secrets of the written word by joseph sugarman all right so read these two books it's going to take you about uh, depending on how fast a reader you are you can probably read these both in about a, a week the key though is not to just read it and chuck it out put this into action right away so some things that you can start writing especially like if you're an affiliate marketer which is a lot of what i talk about here today just start writing articles and try to weave in a lot of the techniques that are in this book try to convert your articles they're going to start out as just kind of generic very generic here's how you do this tip one tip two try to work in some flavor into it uh, over time so just like the the working out muscle this will help you improve your creativity skills as far as writing is concerned all right, so work out the creativity muscle. Writing, very, very important. Third, nowadays, 2016, presence, presentation skills matter. All right, so speaking, video, uh, writing, presentation skill, voiceovers, all of these are going to be effective tools for you in your online business. If you're shy about getting on video, you're gonna to have to get over this fear. I mean, video is where things are headed from here on out. If you're not comfortable with video, Start doing the same exact thing uh, that, you're, that you'll be doing with the article, uh, writing the articles. Just jump on video, video, see what you can do your first month or two, all right? Remember, the first month, it's just about starting to train that muscle. Now, after you do this day after day, um, what happens is like you're, it's like almost like magic. Your brain starts to really just focus in on those activities and you start to find things that you like. Like at first, I hated writing. I hated doing video. But as I've been doing this day after day, like I'm actually starting to enjoy uh, the process of creating videos, writing good stuff, etc. Um, tip number four in creating a successful business, your fans, your audience are the most important thing. All right, so I've learned over the years, without fans, without an audience, without people who like what you do, your business will go out of business. So you have to focus 100% on keeping your fans happy. And this comes at the expense of some short-term money. Don't ever sacrifice the health and the relationships of your fans for short-term money. I speak from experience here. I messed up a lot about this in the past. It's something I will never mess up again in my future career. All right, so um, that's tip number four. Let's keep going here. Let's just hammer this out. Let's get some good stuff. Uh, oh, shit, did I record? Okay. All right, tip number four, this is five, is that 
relationships are important, but if you don't bring anything to the table, no one's going to want to be in a relationship with you. Not as far as business is concerned. If you go to like a networking event, for example, and you have nothing to bring to the table, forget about being introduced to people, forget about making connections. Everyone's going to run away from you because they're going to look at you as the person who's just trying to suck stuff away from them. So in every relationship, come providing some sort of value. So what this means for you is that you're going to have to lock yourself away in a room and start building something of value. All right. So um, think of it like that, what you can bring to the table in every interaction in not only business, but life in general. Bring stuff to the table or else you will never be successful. All right, tip number five is that perfection is your worst enemy as far as building a six-figure year business. All right, when you start out, you're gonna have low confidence and everything that, you're, that you want to do is going to have to be perfect in your mind. And this is the worst thing that you can do. Your goal when you're just starting out is to try to pepper the internet or whatever you're trying to do with your work. So push stuff out there, get a following, nothing needs to be perfect. I mean like you see my videos here, they are far from perfect but my channel is growing because I'm putting stuff out there every single day. I don't really care if it's not the, the most perfect thing. I'm aiming for like somewhere in the middle, average to above average work. All right, so I'm going with volume at first. Now, as your business starts to get better and as you, you know, start to get towards your six figure year goal. Naturally, your skill and your ability to produce high quality stuff and near perfection, this will almost happen automatically as you become more skilled. All right, so when you're just starting out, think about how you can get the most amount of articles, the most amount of videos out there at like the average quality level. All right, tip number six is immerse yourself in whatever topic that it is that you're trying to do. So sacrifice things like TV time, going out with friends, um, any idle time, spend that focusing 100% on gaining more skill, reading books on whatever topic that you're trying to get into. You almost have to become obsessed with your end goal, building this six figure of your business. So whatever that business is, it could be online, it could be offline, whatever it is, immerse yourself in that topic and I guarantee you that if you keep this up for about six months, it's like this magic moment happens. I don't know, it's really weird. Like. At first, it seems like it's not taking hold, but the more, the more that you immerse yourself and do this consecutively over a time period, it's like one day something magical happens and it all just like clicks and sinks in and like your mind just changes over. All right, so that's what you need to focus on uh, as far as building a six-figure business. Last but not least, find the points in your business with, which help you bu uh, build momentum. All right, so there's things in your business that do absolutely no momentum building, things like answering emails. That's important, but it doesn't help you build too much momentum. Things like on the online affiliate business, writing articles, building, uh, creating videos, building relationships, building up a following, all of that stuff helps you build momentum. So focus all of your effort on those activities. Try to cut out or limit all the activities that don't build your momentum. All right, so keep that in mind. Now, if you want to actually learn the how-to steps, like the technical steps of building a six-figure a year online affiliate marketing business. I do have a guide that you can access right now. I'm gonna pop up uh, an image for that right here. Click that image and that will show you how to start making $100 a day as an affiliate marketer and exactly what you have to do to scale that up to the six figure uh, a year range. So if you want to start working out that creativity muscle and getting that initial momentum, this is the guide that you want to start working with. It's everything I do right now to make six figures a year online. All right, guys, my name is Dan Brock, the Debbie Super Affiliate. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Share this video with your friends and comment below if you have any questions about how to make six figures a year online. All right, Dan Brock, the Debbie Super Affiliate, over and out.